Why do I always have on a gray shirt when I film? It's weird. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So on Snapchat and Instagram, I asked you guys to ask me any questions you had, preferably not makeup related, but if they're makeup related, I'm still going to answer them anyway. But just a little bit so that you guys can get to know me and know a little bit more about me. Most of the questions are about my weight loss journey, so I'm definitely going to share that and try not to cry because I've on way too much makeup and I don't have time to have crying streaks. Because you may not like talking about weight loss gets emotional, but I'm going to try my best not to. I said I wasn't going to. So let's go the first question is what is your number one fitness goal so my number one fitness goal really is just to be healthy i'm not trying to get skinny i just want to be cute and fun i mean like i was fine before and i was cute but i want to be healthy so my number one fitness goal is to be healthy what is your nationality so i'm african-american i'm black um a lot of people say i look exotic i don't know like i don't really see it but a lot of people say i look exotic so they think i'm like mixed with other stuff but i'm african-american how do you like your eggs? I like my eggs scrambled because over easy, like that is nasty, okay? Like that runny, that is nasty. Like you need to cook your eggs, okay? Cook. If you weren't a makeup artist, what would you have loved to do? Um... If I wasn't a makeup artist, I would... Maybe, oh, I could probably work with, nah, because little kids be nasty. Only like the little kids like in my family. Is that rude? The kids have germs. Like I like little kids, but like only good little kids. Like I can't do bad little kids, you know? Probably be like designing products or something. I feel like I would still be in the beauty industry because I'm like, it's so near and dear to me and it's pretty much what I've been doing my entire life. So... I would say just like developing like cool products. Who taught you to do makeup? You're so good at it. Really, I just learned from doing it. Um, definitely working in a retail environment like at like MAC or like a Sephora or at a makeup counter is definitely where you will learn the most because you're doing makeup every day on so many different skin tones. So really you learn from doing it and just practicing. Are you in a relationship? I'm not in a relationship. I am very, very single. Um, I'm really just out here doing me, living my life, you know. I don't really have time for dating and things like that, so I'm just, because I'm so busy. How old are you? Besides makeup and working out, what are your other hobbies? I am 25, and my other hobbies, I really just like hanging out, hanging out with friends. I like cooking. Cooking is like one of my fave things. Do you feel comfortable going out without hair extensions or makeup? Yes, I do. I don't be looking like this on a regular day. Like, if I'm not doing anything, I'm. if you follow me on Snapchat, you know. Like, I'm sitting here or out wherever I need to be without makeup on. I still put my hair on because let's not get crazy. Let's not get carried away. So I still put on my unit or I, I either have a unit or I have a sewing. Did you go to college? Um, yes. I went for a little bit. I didn't finish. Honestly, I was there and I'm just like, this isn't really what I want to be doing. And, and I'm like, I'm, wa I'm wasting my money and I'm like wasting my parents' money. So I just didn't. I just was like, all right, let me. <laughs> let me. What's been the best and worst part about your fitness journey? Um, There's no worst part. I may be waking up at like 4 a.m. when I used to have to go really, really, really early. But now I don't have to go that early. So that was probably the worst part. The best part is seeing all these results. Name a few pet peeves. If you follow me on Snapchat, you already know people who do not wash their hands after they use the bathroom. Why? I asked, nobody responded, like, because I know some of y'all do not wash your hands, and I just want to know why. Like, why? I think it's the most disgusting thing ever. Would you ever move anywhere else to further your career? Definitely. I would probably be scared of, like, leaving my family, but I would definitely move somewhere else to further my career. What's your favorite color? So my favorite color is pink, um, but not like like that bubblegum pink, like kind of like a fuchsia pink, but like a hot pink, but like fuchsia, but not as much purple. You know what I mean? Do you believe in sharing bae on social media? Personally, I don't because I feel like if anything happens and we break up, I'm going to have to answer all these questions about what happened. What is your favorite makeup product of all time? So my favorite makeup product is Spiked Eyebrow Pencil from MAC. Are you married with children? <laughs> no, girl. Maybe one day, but not today. 
If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? I want to go to Dubai because I've never been and like it looks amazing. I hear it's like crazy expensive, but I want to go to Dubai. Like that's somewhere different and like I like the kind of tropical like places, but I've been there. So I would want to go somewhere different. Like, where do you like to shop? So I shop at Forever 21, Target, and Tours. Those are pretty much my top three places. Like, what is your main goal in life? My main goal in life is to be successful. Um, yeah and be happy be successful and be happy how's your love life what love life girl what love life if you could wake up tomorrow having gained one ability or quality what would it be oh my god it would be to fly because traffic oh my god traffic in the bay area is like it's like getting out of hand like did everybody move from wherever they were to here because the traffic has never been this bad so I would want to be able to fly. Do you have siblings? So yes, I have a, I have two sisters and I have a brother. Um, tell us about your weight loss journey. You look amazing. Thank you. So, um, I basically decided that I didn't want to be fat anymore. Like, I mean, obviously nobody wants to be fat. Like, that's not a thing to be. I've pretty much been big my entire life. Um, and I was just sick of it like I was sick of being unhappy and I was sick of going to places with my friends who are smaller than me or like my sisters who are smaller than me and just going to places and when we go shop I can't shop at the same store as them or like we would have to go to a different mall because I couldn't wear you know stuff at the mall that we were at you know what I mean so it's just like tired of it and after so long of being unhappy with yourself you have to make a change what do you think about makeup companies who are notorious for only using white models how do you think we can combat this so i think it's unfair but um it doesn't surprise me at all honestly i think the biggest thing that we can do is make sure that we are like flooding these companies pages or you know like emails and just letting them know that we want to see more people of color represented with their brand what is your favorite song? Sorry Not Sorry by Bryson Tiller is my favorite song. What is your middle name? My middle name is Bridget. Um, I don't know where it came from. Ask my dad. I don't even know where Tremaya came from. Like, he he just made it up. I never really asked him why. When were you introduced to the makeup world? So I was introduced to the makeup world about my sophomore year by my stepmom. She's the one who pretty much got me into all of this. Um, and it's so funny, like, now I, like, help her with her makeup and I, like, will do her makeup sometimes. I haven't done it in a while, but I'll, like, do her makeup sometimes, which is really funny. Like, it's kind of funny how it kind of flips. Um, but she is the one who got me into makeup. It was kind of like just the start of my sophomore year and I was like, I want to, I want to try. And she like gave me some eyeshadow, told me where to put it. I went and showed her and she was like, yeah, even though I looked crazy. Like I remember like pictures of how I used to have like blue eyeshadow literally all over to go with my blue shirt and then it would match like my blue purse. So is your hair natural? If not, are you planning on going natural? No girl. <laughs> The way the gym is set up and like the way my life is set up, like I, I do not have time to be dealing with natural hair. To everyone who can do that, like I applaud you because I know it's hard. Happy for you and the changes that you've worked hard for. Where do you like to shop before and after weight loss? How has your style changed? So thank you, but it's so funny because I took my friends shopping with me the other day and they were like, can you stop dressing like a fat girl? And I'm like... You know, sometimes you need to hear that and it's just like, it's very true because I still am very covered and very like, like wearing loose things and when I had on something tight, they were like, girl, you look so good. And it's like, honestly, when you have fat, you have, it's called fat eyes. So even though you've lost weight, you still feel like you look the same. Um, I'm still shopping at the same places, just in a smaller size. I don't feel like sexy has ever really been my style though, you know what I mean? Like I've never been like the type of person to dress sexy. It's just never really been my style so I'm working on changing my style but honestly it hasn't changed that much yet because I still have bad eyes. All of that to say that. <laughs> Do you like to cook? Yes, I love to cook. So if you follow me on Snapchat as well, make sure you follow me on Snapchat because my Snapchat be popping. But um, I... I share like all my meal prep stuff on there and again I told you guys I'm gonna start doing uh, meal prep videos here as well 
You have been gorgeous from day one, but since you have been transforming your body, have there been any times you lost motivation or skipped up on eating? How did you get back on track? Yes. Um, eating is really the number one thing. You can work out as hard as you want, but then if you go eat bad, like, you're not going to lose any weight. So, I've definitely had points where I've cheated, and you get back. You, If you have a bad day the next day, you don't have another bad day. You get back on your shit. You, know, you don't sit there and you keep thinking about, oh, I shouldn't have ate that, I shouldn't have ate that. You, eat, you ate it, you're bad, now you move on and you go work harder to work it off. How long have you been on your fitness journey and what physical accomplishment is your proudest? So, I've been on my fitness journey with Inner Athlete for um, a year and a half now. So, this is like my real deal fitness journey. What physical accomplishment is your proudest? I said I wasn't going to cry. Okay, so my proudest moment is going into my closet and picking out something that did not fit. Something that I bought because it was so cute and I'm like, I want to be able to wear it. But I know I can't, but I'm still going to buy it because one day I'll be able to. And going into my closet and pulling it out and it fitting was just like... Oh my god, you know, like all my hard work doing, like it worked. It paid off and that was just like the best feeling. My happy, proud moment, I took a picture, I sent it to my trainer and I'm just like, this is crazy. Like, this is crazy. Where are you from? So I'm from Oakland, California, born and raised. But the good part. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? I'm definitely, definitely an introvert. I like to be alone. I like to be by myself. Like, I like being out, but not really. Like, I'd rather, pr I really prefer to be at home, whether it's with someone or by myself. But I don't like being in large parties or groups or crowds or anything like that. Like, it's just not fun for me. I don't know. So, uh, that is all of the questions for today. Um, maybe I'll do a part two because I did get a lot of questions. I'm just going to do a part two just strictly about my weight loss. I feel like most of these questions were about my weight loss anyway, but I'm going to do another one where it's just straight weight loss. Leave any questions that you might have in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in my next video. A little bit about uh, relationship. I'm out here single just you know doing me living my life like it's golden fa fail why can't i talk